Um, if you happen to be from a part of the world where clamming is popular, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, it's the time to go to the shoreline, uh, the beach, and collect clams. And um, it's real popular in Japan during this time of year, at the end of April and early part of May, especially during Golden Week when a lot of people have uh, time off. They tend to pile all the kids into the car and drive along the coast until they can find a place where they can go clamming. Um, we were thinking we were going to go today and actually wound up going yesterday just because the weather and timing worked out better for us. But um, we happen to be super insanely lucky and have a place where we can go clamming that's like literally only five minutes away. So. Um, and it's also a really popular place, um, one of the more popular areas in in our area. So uh, you generally, you know, bring a bucket and a little um, kind of I don't know the name of tools. I'm so terrible, right? It's it kind of looks like a claw that you can use to dig into the um, the the shoreline, the beach, essentially, uh, to find the clams. Um, the shore here, by where I live, the sand is all really dark and kind of black almost, if you will. And of course, there's lots of kind of rocks in, mixed in there with it. But you generally just keep digging until you can find some clams that are still in the shell and uh, toss them in your net and in your little bag. And then when you're finished, uh, you there's usually a fee to get in to the area where you can go clamming. And then then a, a weight limit of how much you're allowed to walk out with. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, the place we went, it's about a thousand yen, a um, little under ten dollars, and you can walk out with five kilo of clams. Um, we went actually around one o'clock, and we thought we'd still have, you know, a few hours until um, high tide, but um, when we got there, the guy was like, oh, it's, um, you know, we only have 30 more minutes. And we're like, that, that's not true. It says that online that you guys are open until like five or six. But he he's like, well, you guys just only have 30 minutes, so just go in for free. So we all got to go in for free, which was super cool because we were ready to pay, you know, for myself and my husband and my oldest daughter and my little younger daughter wouldn't have to pay. Uh, we were ready, you know, to pay 20, 30, to almost $30. But, um, yeah, he just let us in for free. And I always wonder at these moments, is that because, um, you know, they're being nice or because there's a white girl there, you know, I've gotten lots of freebies because I'm the foreign person in the room. Um, you know, I, I didn't know if it's just because we had kids and maybe they figure we're not going to be able to get that much anyway, so who cares? Um, we got about, you know, two kilo between all of us, probably, uh, just goofing around and having fun. So, um, but yeah, so super cool. And this actually happened to us last year, too. Uh, last year I could understand why though. We literally did just get there at four o'clock. We only had an hour uh, and the guy was like, don't worry about it. Just free. Go ahead and have fun. Um, but yeah, this time he was like, same thing. So, um, and I don't know if the people behind us got in free too. I don't know. So, but uh, we were able to have a, a good time. And my youngest daughter, I thought she'd be more excited about, you know, getting dirty and digging in the, in the stuff and finding things. But, um, she didn't want anything to do with it. We we sat her on a bucket and um, she just sat there and ate a little bit of snack and watched us while we all dug and tried to find things. So uh, we did come across some little tiny hermit crabs and some snails and stuff kind of hanging out that we could play with. So that was cool. And uh, the clams, uh, which uh, there's lots of different variations of them, but uh, in general we tend to call them asari. And the most common way to eat that is to throw it in some miso soup. Those are really yummy ways to eat them. Um, you can also uh, fry them up and serve them in a spaghetti, which is really good. Um, or you can just fry them in a fry pan with some butter and some soy sauce. So all really good ways, uh, or lemon, uh, all really good ways to eat them. And they are super delicious. Um, uh, you don't usually eat them raw. I know a lot of people might be familiar thinking, you know, we always eat sushi, so maybe we like to eat those raw too, but you don't usually eat um, asari raw here so much. So, um, uh, but it is a really fun thing to do with family and a uh, fun way to be outside. Luckily, it was pretty overcast, so we didn't get too much direct sun and we could still have a good time. We were out for almost two two hours or more, uh, hanging out and trying to dig stuff out of the ground. So it's kind of always cool to feel like you you got some some food. Uh, feel kind of like uh, maybe people did in the cave caveman days where you feel like, you know, you kind of hunted for your food. Yeah, we, we dug in the ground for our food. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it makes you feel kind of cool that way. So, um, but then there's always the hard thing about doing that, that we've got it, we picked it, it's in the bucket and you know, they're spitting out water at you sometimes when you look at them and then, you know, we're going to kill them now so we can eat them. That's a tough thing to teach kids. Um, I know <laughs> if you happen to be a hunter, you know how hard that can be teaching that kind of thing to children. Um, or if you like to go fishing, uh, which is basically being a hunter, um, that's hard to, to teach to take a kid and be like, oh, cute fish, okay, now we're going to eat him. Um, I, I'm totally cool with that. I love being able to eat meat and food. That's not a problem for me, but I know a lot of people who, who have a hard time with that, and so it can be really hard, um, if especially if you happen to have a child who has a problem with it, that can be difficult to teach them. But um, I'd be curious if any of you guys have anything like that. I bought, uh, you know, when we were living in Virginia, we were real lucky because we got to go apple picking, which was super fun. Um, I also have, uh, you know, g gone um, picking different things on my grandparents' farm. They had walnut tree, and they also always had uh, boysenberry bushes. Um, those kinds of things are always a lot of fun if you happen to get a chance to be a part of a harvesting or, um, you know, being able to go fishing or being able to go clamming or um, crabbing, uh, depending if you live along one of the coastlines too. Um, I'd love to hear any of your guys' comments and questions about those kinds of things.